Hey, what's going on everyone? I uh, just got a little news story here that I, uh, I've, I really wanted to talk about because um, it's about Square Enix and what they've uh, recently announced for the Nintendo Switch uh, which is that they have set up and will be setting up, sorry, um, their own Switch division uh, specifically designed to focus on Nintendo Switch games from themselves you know, especially as we're getting um, Octopath uh, traveling and stuff and a hype around that with it being 1 million downloads and, um, you know, the game looking absolutely phenomenal. I think Square are starting to wake up a little bit and see the potential um, of the Nintendo Switch as well as the, the fan base who long for those Square Soft, I'm going to call it Square Soft who uh, <laughs> brought this whole video, you know, Square Enix is a <laughs> you know, never quite sat right with me. You know, because I'm a, I'm a square soft boy, you know, as, as, uh, as I grew up on. But, yeah, you know, they, they um, I think they've realised that, you know, the, the, the fan base is, is, is there again. And, they, and they're hungering for those old games. And they might have seen uh, good sales with uh, games like um, Lost Odyssey and stuff like that that they've uh, put up a download. Even though they've, they've stung us on um, some other games like um, The Secret of Mana remakes and stuff like that. But, you know, what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push that aside. And I'm actually going to allow myself to get really... Um, really excited for for this um, announcement, you know, because they've also gone on and said that there are other um, several other titles that they're currently working on uh, for the Switch, and, and we just have to wait a bit longer. And they'll be working with Nintendo, and will announce more in the future. And you know, based off what we saw um, with just say Octopath Traveler at the moment, you know, that 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 that, that cry back to to the square of old with, with great character design, great artwork. Uh, lovely aesthetics and and you know, a, a, a rich combat system and just a general good look to it. Um, you know, I, I fell off um, Square, um, you know, um, a, a while ago. You know, especially with the mainline Final Fantasy games. You know, um, for the first time ever um, in, in my history of playing Final Fantasy games, I have completely skipped Final Fantasy 15 because um, I just looked at it and it was just. It just it just looked soulless to me, especially when you compare the character designs of Far Fantasy 15 or those emo, bland-looking characters to the wonderful, absolutely wonderful character designs of uh, Far Fantasy 9, even 8, which isn't my favorite Far Fantasy, but I'll go with 8 as well, um, and especially Far Fantasy 7 and Far Fantasy 6, which uh, is my favorite uh, favorite Far Fantasy. But you know, I um, it's been a while since I've you know been really excited about a Square game because you know. Companies change as the years go on, and Square for me, their their golden period was you know ended during the PlayStation One, and we had in that in that in that period we had um, you know the Parasite Eves, the Legends of Manas, the Iron Handers, the the Far Fancies, and you know you name it, you know pretty much Square um, delivered, and it was the, probably the last game that that really had that the Square um, magic for me was Far Fancy Crystal Chronicles on the uh, Nintendo GameCube, which was um, exclusive to that console. And it used um, four Game Boy Advances uh, with link cables to get some multiplayer on the go. And it was cumbersome even even for then. But, you know, I managed to have friends to actually play that with and got to experience the multiplayer of it. And it, and it worked. But the game itself was, was beautiful, as you saw just now in the, um, in the intro. But um, it, it wasn't until recently that I put up um, a photo of uh, my copy of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on Instagram. Because I've got my own Instagram account. Check it out if you want. <laughs> um... But I said um, this series would uh, would be so well fitted for the Nintendo Switch culture at the moment that that land play, whip off the Joy Cons, and straight away you're playing multiplayer. Um, you know, for for the type of game that Final Fantasy Crystal Chron Chronicles wanted uh, wanted to be. And you know, even though they've said now that you know they've opened up this new division, they're going to uh, be focusing on on new games focused for the Nintendo Switch. Um, I would I would love to see a Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles or something in that vein, that that wonderful character design, that the wonderful world design, that and that just that that magic that um, you know it's hard to describe unless you you know play those games. But it was just something about Square Soft's worlds and and characters that that just gave you goosebumps and you just you were just completely and utterly um, absorbed into those worlds, which is what made those games um, so famous. And, you know, you, you look at today and, you know, you've got the Final Fantasy 13 and Final Fantasy uh, 15 and, you know, no one's no one's talking about these games in, in, the, in the same way as they were the old Squaresoft games. But, um, yeah, you, this, this news is exactly 
exactly what I wanted to hear because you can go back through history and the relationship between um, Square and uh, Nintendo when it was in this um, prime was you know absolutely phenomenal you know we, we got some of the best games ever made and they still hold up today we're, we're talking the Chrono Triggers the, the Secret of Man as the Final Fantasy 6 and you know whatever else you, you can name from that era and if we can get that type of relationship back um, where they can create that type of magic again and bring those type of character designs uh, which we which we kind of got a taste of now recently in um, the Bravely Default and uh, Bravely Second Layer games on the Nintendo 3DS which um, I believe the same team or you know um, similar um, staff members are the same ones who are working on Octopath Traveler because they wanted to bring back that square of old and you know like like they've done with Lost Sphere and stuff like that they seem to be wanting to try and get back um, that old JRPG magic which which made them what what they are and that their, their later their later Final Fantasies and later games you know in my opinion lost lost a lot of that so you you feel like they're trying to bring that back and in in, in my eyes there is this there's two partners who could you know really make this happen again if if they made the effort and wanted to bring it back and one um, is obviously Nintendo and the other is Sony but Sony has um, over the years not become the publisher that, that they once were during the PlayStation 1 that early PlayStation 2 eras um, as, I, as I've mentioned before and you know you can you can just go through that for the list of games just to see what they've published and some of the efforts that they have um, put into some of the publishing deals that they have done um, with certain companies and you know it's, it's not it's not the same anymore certainly not from Sony but that's not to write them off I, I, I would love for them to be able to, to, to come back and um, once again get that and get Final Fantasy that 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 name which was so untouchable in terms of JRPGs get that name back up there again um, but you know I, I feel like it's, it's slipped a bit but like I said you know I, I'd love it for it to come back but the fact that Square are focusing on the Nintendo Switch um, with uh, sounds like exclusive games just for the Switch. I mean, that's you know that's that's really exciting. You're really excited, especially if they are new games and they get the same type of effort and treatment that we're seeing from Octopath Traveler, which um, you can still get a sense that it's testing the waters, but it's doing a little bit more than testing the waters. They are doing something new, especially with that art style, which I would absolutely, as I said before, murder to have Final Fantasy VI recreated in that art style because I feel that art style for Octopath Traveler with Final Fantasy VI would be perfect for Final Fantasy VI original um, aesthetics and you know, my god, if, if they um, ever renounced, if they ever announced um, a remake of Final Fantasy VI in that engine, I, I wouldn't know what I would do with myself, it'd be, <laughs> you know, I think for a lot of people, it'd be a, it'd be a good, good day and you know far better than the attempts that they made with the shoddy artwork and recalibrated the designs that they've done on their mobile games and their recent games that they have put on mobile and, and put not much effort into but um yeah i think this news is great and um i'm not sure about everyone else you know how everyone else feels like about about this because like i said we've, we've had some um, ups and downs with, with squares uh squared in the past and, and even till today especially with the nintendo switch but they have made effort and you can see them now making all more effort um, Octopath is releasing very soon, I cannot wait for that game and it, it's going to be good to see, exciting to see uh, what they come out with um, hopefully um, towards the end of this year and early next year and this will help to switch momentum to know that Squaresoft are working on exclusive unique games for the Nintendo Switch throughout its lifespan and that's, that's really exciting for me, really exciting but yeah, anyway, I just wanted to talk about that um, I, I'd love to have a full on uh, Square uh, soft video um, discussion one time, something I might do as part of my general discussions uh, segments to talk about Square of old, the games I loved and you know how I feel about them today fully but you know, what do you all think of this news? I Like I said, I'm, I'm really excited and I, I hope to get to uh, um, hear some more news uh, pretty soon you know, about this but yeah, let me know your thoughts as always um, are you still a Square fan? Were you a Square, square fan of old? Um, are you excited about Octopath and are you excited about what they could potentially do um, moving forward on the Nintendo Switch now that they seem to be um, coming out into the open and really you know, um, shouted out loud that the, um, that the Switch is a, is a focus for them, which it, it, it should be because Square and Nintendo, as we know, got a, got a rich history and the, 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 the Switch is just 
the way it's selling and everything it's just it's just a no-brainer so this is great to hear but yeah let me know your thoughts below and um, any comments like i said um, i'll reply to every single one of them but as always thanks for listening and i look forward to your comments below peace